Good evening, people. Watch them in 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. You put yourself in it, you put works in it, you put works in it, you put yourself in it. It is not about works that anybody is saved. Salvation is by believing. It is grace, something we didn't earn and something we don't deserve that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. That's the gospel. How do you come to that? Admit you're a sinner in need of Jesus. Put your faith and trust in him. Accept him as Savior and you're saved. Someone had commented earlier that is more to it than that. No, it's not. Salvation is strictly believing in what Christ already did for you at the cross. Therefore, you can't do anything to earn your salvation. Jesus did, by the shedding of his blood, his death, burial, and resurrection. Once you accept Christ as Savior, the Holy Spirit will immediately seal you until the day of redemption, which means you cannot lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. He will lead you, guide you, and he will change you. That's the gospel. With everything that's going on today, I'm going to say this. You'd be a fool not to accept Christ as Savior. Because what you're seeing now, you think it's bad now? Get left behind. And it's going to be a million times worse. This is a precursor as to what's coming. And this is bad. Now, the missiles have been fired at the U.S. consulate in Iraq. I got that first. And there, it's a developing story. So all we know is that um, the missiles fell on the U.S. consulate. No one was hurt. No one was injured. But what's... Um, bad right now? U.S. intel warns of heightened risk of Russian chemical attack in Ukraine. Now, this... This is bad because the United States and its allies have intelligence that Russia may be preparing to use chemical weapons against Ukraine. The U.S. and European officials said yesterday as Moscow sought to invigorate its faltering military offensive through increasingly brutal attacks across multiple Ukrainian cities, which is true. We see that on the news. I mean, folks, this isn't fake. This is not fake. Security officials and diplomats say the, said the intelligence, which they declined to detail, pointed to the possible preparations by Russia for deploying chemical mutations or munitions, and warned the Kremlin may seek to carry out a false flag attack that attempts to pin the blame on Ukrainians or perhaps the Western government. The officials, like others quoted in the story, spoke on the condition of anonymity because of the sensitive nature of the matter. The accusations surf, uh, surfaced as Russia repeated claims that the United States and Ukraine were operating secret biological weapons lab in Eastern Europe. An allegation that, of course, the Biden administration dismissed as total nonsense and outright lies. Sure. So if it's total nonsense and outright lies, it must be the truth. Any use of poison gases in Ukraine would violate a decades-old international treaty banning such weapons and represent a dangerous turn in Russia's um, two-week-old military offensive against its neighbor. Meanwhile, according to a new report from the Associated Press, U.S. soldiers continued to deploy Friday to Europe, joining thousands already sent overseas to support NATO allies amid Russia's invasion of Ukraine. 
About 130 soldiers from the 87th uh, Division Sustainment Support Battalion. Third Division uh, Sustainment Brigade lined up inside a terminal at Hunter Airfield in Savannah before marching outside and boarding their charter flights. Um, if he's using, if he's going to be using weapons or chemical weapons, it's, this is not good. I'm going to link it in the description box. I don't have much about the Iraqi thing. It's just, it's still developing, but I am going to link all of these articles in the description box. Folks, I'm just listening for the trumpet. That's all I'm doing. I, I have no words except to Abba up. <laughs> So anything else comes up between now and the time I go to bed, I will be back. In the meantime, uh, have a nice evening. Thank you.